Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to talk about the for loop. Okay, so um, just to give you guys an introduction, we're going to talk about the for loop in C sharp. So uh, and the for loop is used uh, when working with um, arrays. Okay, so we can use this to generate numbers. Uh, so uh, enough said. Let's just um, jump to the for loop it, uh, itself to do that we're going to use the for um, keyword and the first uh, the for loop is pretty simple okay we have created a variable a local variable uh, most cases this variable will be integer okay so this will be integer let's give it a name usually uh, I would say that 99% of the time this will be a variable uh, with an I letter and it's uh, you you assign the initial value in this case I'm gonna start by the zero okay so this is the first part you type then you then you type a semicolon okay and right here the second part is an expression okay so if you guys remember the if expression so this will um, execute while false it's different from the if statement so while is uh, actually while is true okay I was confused so let's say that I want to write a function such as uh, 1 equal equal 1 which is uh, very simple and then right here I can write a y plus plus which is a pause incrementer which we're gonna talk later so if I type console dot right line I okay and I'm gonna add a console dot read key at the end of this uh, file let's run it should it should show me why uh, increasing infinitely okay in a infinite loop um it is building let's take if it's gonna take a few seconds just like this so let's wait <laughs> let's wait to see um how it goes so this isn't the proper way to show how the for loop works but it is good to see because we are going to show until the universe ends because this is an infinite loop or till I shut down the computer or close the program. So this is an infinite loop. So this expression will be true forever. So as you guys can see the I++, which means that I'm going to increase the value of I by one. So the first value would be one and then zero. Actually, the first value would be zero and then one, two, three, four, and so on. So uh, let's, uh, because y is a variable, you could type a um, expression such as while you could write, or you could read as while uh, i is less than 10. So while i is less than 10 we're gonna print the i value okay so as you guys can see we have until starting from 0 to 9 when i is equal 10 is no longer true so it exits okay so uh pretty simple as you guys can see okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys next time